Here, we'll show you how to calculate the initial concentration of a weak acid, given the pH and the Ka of the acid. In this particular example, we'll use the initial concentration to find the initial moles of the acid in the sample. We're told that we have a 500 milliliter sample of oxalic acid, H2C2O4, with a pH of 1.095. And we're asked how many moles of H2C2O4 were initially added to this sample. We'll divide the solution to this problem into six main steps. We're given the pH, and since oxalic acid is a weak acid, we will need an ice table. We can use hydronium ion concentration in an ice table, but not pH. So step one is to convert the pH to hydronium ion concentration. In step two, we write the balanced ionization equation for oxalic acid. Next, we draw an ice table below the equation. We let x equal the initial concentration of the acid, insert known quantities into the ice table, and determine all other quantities. We write the Ka expression for oxalic acid, look up the Ka value, insert equilibrium concentrations into the expression, and solve for x, the initial concentration. In the last step, we'll use the concentration and volume of the sample to calculate the number of moles of oxalic acid initially added to the sample. We'll start the process by converting the given pH to hydronium ion concentration. We use the equation hydronium concentration equals 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative 1.095. This works out to 0.0804 molar. So we can state that the hydronium ion concentration is 0.0804 molar. And we'll make a note of it up here. In step two, we write out the ionization equation for oxalic acid. We add H2C2O4 to water, and it forms H3O plus, and the conjugate base of oxalic acid, the hydrogen oxalate ion, HC2O4 minus. Now we draw an ice table below the equation and add a grid so that the columns line up with the substances in the equation. Water is a liquid, so we ignore its values. We color its column blue here. We start by adding what we can to the initial concentration row. We don't know what the initial concentration of oxalic acid is, so we let it equal x. And before ionization, the concentrations of hydronium and hydrogen oxalate ions are zero. Remember, using the pH, we had determined that the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium is 0.0804 molar. So we'll write 0.0804 in the cell for equilibrium concentration of hydronium down here. Now we'll focus on the column for hydronium. The hydronium ion concentration started out as 0 molar and went up to 0.0804 molar at equilibrium. So its change in concentration is an increase of 0.0804 molar. Hydronium and hydrogen oxalate both have a coefficient of 1 in the ionization equation. So we can say that the concentration of hydrogen oxalate also increased by 0.0804 molar. Because the concentrations of the products increased, we can see that the reaction has moved to the right in order to establish equilibrium. Therefore, we can say that the concentration of oxalic acid on the left must have decreased. And because the coefficients on oxalic acid and hydronium are both 1, we can say that the concentration of oxalic acid went down by 0.0804 molar the same as the hydronium ion increased by. Now we can fill in the row for equilibrium concentrations. We'll start with the hydrogen oxalate ion on the right. Its concentration started out as 0 molar and increased by 0.0804 molar. So its equilibrium concentration is 0.0804 molar. Now we'll move over to the oxalic acid on the left. Its concentration started out as x molar, and it went down by 0.0804 molar. So its equilibrium concentration is x minus 0.0804 molar. So now we have equilibrium concentrations for all three species. Our task now is to determine the value of x. 
We do this by inserting these equilibrium concentrations into the Ka expression for oxalic acid as set out in step 5 of our plan. We start by using the ionization equation to write the Ka expression for oxalic acid. It is products over reactants, which is the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydrogen oxalate over the concentration of oxalic acid. Looking up oxalic acid on the acid table, it tells us that its Ka value is 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2. To save space, we'll write this as a decimal number. 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2 is the same as 0 0.059. We can now substitute this value for Ka in our Ka expression, like this. We substitute 0 0.0804 in for both hydronium and hydrogen oxalate and their product in the Ka expression is 0 0.0804 squared. And we'll substitute x minus 0 0.0804 in for the equilibrium concentration of H2C2O4. So now we have the equation 0 0.059 equals 0 0.0804 squared over x minus 0 0.0804. We'll rearrange this equation to solve for x minus 0 0.0804, and we get x minus 0 0.0804 equals 0 0.0804 squared over 0 0.059. 0 0.0804 squared over 0 0.059 works out to 0 0.1096. We'll leave this as four significant figures for now, and round our answer to the correct number of significant figures at the end of the calculation. So at this point, we know that x minus 0 0.0804 is equal to 0 0.1096. Adding 0 0.0804 to both sides of the equation gives us x is equal to 0 0.1096 plus 0 0.0804, which is 0 0.190. Remember that x was set as the initial concentration of oxalic acid, H2C2O4. So we can say that the initial concentration of H2C2O4 was 0 0.190 molar. We added the unit M because this is a molar concentration. We'll make a note of it up here. We now know the initial concentration of oxalic acid. But the question asks us to find the number of moles of oxalic acid. So in step 6, we'll use the concentration and volume to calculate the number of moles of oxalic acid initially added to the sample. The moles of H2C2O4 is equal to 0 0.190 moles of H2C2O4 per liter times the volume of the sample, 0 0.5000 liters. And that equals 0 0.095 moles of H2C2O4. So we can say that the number of moles of H2C2O4 initially added to the sample was 0 0.095 moles. This final answer is rounded to two significant figures. This is because the Ka value we obtained from the acid table was only two significant figures. Two is the lowest number of significant figures in the data we used, so we round our final answer to two significant figures. So to summarize, the final answer is 0 0.095 moles of oxalic acid, H2C2O4, was initially added to the 500 milliliter sample.